All right, we're gonna grab mantas, like two of them. Then we're gonna grab tape and stick them to the tape. Like this, two of them. Then we will open the diet coke and put it like that, but don't drop it. And tape it like this, and then close it. And then, you see it's forming up because of mentos, shake it around. You see the mentos have fallen and the rocket is ready to go. Safety first. And now we're gonna drop it, the bottom down on this thing. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. That did not work. Alright, that was a fail. Let's try it again. And now we're ready to set this, set it up. Gonna set it on the here. Fail. I don't know why. Uh, Alright, last time it didn't work because maybe cup was too tight. So I'm gonna keep it kinda not too tight this time and see what happens. Yes, and that's how you do it. We're gonna get butane, put butane in there, and put it upside down, and it should shoot off. Let's check this out. Oh, 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 oh. That was good. <coughs> Isn't it? That's so cool. Let's try it one more time. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. That was awesome. I gotta say, the, the small bottle is much better. Ha! <laughs> Fail. Whoa! That was the best. Whoa! That's amazing. So the best way is just to flip it down. Whoa! That was the best! Did you see that? For this experiment we're gonna need water, film canister and a tablet of Alka-Zelsa. We're gonna put two tablets, fill it up all the way. Drop these two tablets. Close it real quick. And turn it over. Ten. So, I'm gonna close it and... Oh, what a fail! Let's try this again. Alright, let's say you dropped it, you shaked it up. Look how hard it is from one drop. So, again, open it a little bit till it starts fizzing a little bit and now you're ready to swipe it like that. Oh, you see? Because you weren't fast enough, it's messed up. Let's make it stone again. Make sure you have dry hands so it's not slipping and boom! Cool, huh? Alright, let's try this again. Open it a little. Oh. <laughs> then what we're gonna do is just grab it like that by the end of the hand on arm and just spin it this way. One, two, three, go! Make sure it's not too tight. Whoa! Well, sometimes it does not work. Man, the cup flew at least 50 feet away. It's water bottle rocket. It flies off because of pressure. So this experiment about pressure pretty much. So let's get to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So first we're gonna turn the water and fill it up a little. So, so you wanna help? So we're gonna get like this much of water, not too much. And then I, we have like the, this kind of thing. We got it from Amazon, but what you need is like, this is like, it screws on the bottom, and we have this 
cork in here so we have a little hole over there we're gonna put it on top of this right here this experiment pretty much about pressure tied up pretty good and look you see water comes out from there because there's a little hole over there so water will come out so we filled up a half a bottle with water and then I have this thing right here and put it in a plug right here pull it up so it's gonna look like that and then we're gonna push air with the air pump and once there's too much like pressure build up this fork just pops out like and all this energy the air with water comes out that way so it flies up like a rocket <laughs> let's try this again man that was too much fun <laughs> Yeah, man, that's too much fun. Give it, no, no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, my God. That went so high and so fast. Pashli. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did that go? Wow, look at it. It's right here, right beside Whoa. me. And look where I am. I almost hit you. <laughs> so we're gonna grab scissors, cut the tea bag, open it up like that and take the tea out from the this paper stuff. On one side and the other side. Uh, you gotta cut some more. Unfold them like tubes like this so you'll be able to set them up like this. And then light it up from the top and it should fly out, I mean fly up. They should fly out pretty soon. One was a fail, but the tall one goes up. Pretty awesome, huh? This one's from the gum, so I saved couple. So what we're gonna do is put the match like that on a edge and just sew it up tightly. Very, very tightly, you know what I mean? As tight as you can. Tie it up and then you flip it like that. And fold it, I mean. And you got this kind of match with the aluminum foil like that, you see? So then we're gonna, I'm gonna put a plate and put it right here. Let's see how far will it shoot. Remember, fire extinguisher, do not try this at home, very dangerous. I'm gonna use my lighter. Boom. Well, sometimes it doesn't, doesn't fly the way you want it to fly. Well, let's say it was a fail and I know why. You know why? Because this is, I put too much foil and it was too heavy to actually fly out forward. So let's rip it off like this much and just roll it up over here on this end. You see how much smaller it is? Like almost 80% smaller this time. So time to just remember how we did it before. All right, let's see if it's gonna fly. Yep. You guys seen it? There's a lot of smoke, that's why you shouldn't do it at home. We're gonna make carbide rocket. Okay, I'm gonna drop in carbide, four pieces. Then I'm gonna close it like this. And then, 
Now it's gonna be fun part. <laughs> Woo! Bang! Do you hear that? That was insane! Whoa! Let's do this again. It's loud! <laughs> Woo! That was awesome! Freak out. This is awesome and easy for us.